Getting back to smartphones for a minute. Vivo, you know the company Vivo, they are showcasing a super flash charge, which can fill a 4,000 milliamp hour battery in 13 minutes. Bananas. That's pretty wild. So to put this in perspective, guys, 4,000 milliamp hours, you're talking about like a Galaxy S10. You're talking about filling up a phone of that caliber in 13 minutes. All of a sudden now you're like, geez, I'm not even, I don't even need to charge my phone at night. It's just a quick, you know, it's a quick little thing. Just pop it in in the kitchen or something and, and, and grab a full charge. Now, we've seen fast charging technology in the past uh, showcase a Samsung phone recently with a 25 watt charge. The, the Galaxy S10 5G will charge 25 watt as well as the A70 we just showcased. But in this case, we're not talking about 25 watts. We're talking about 120 watt technology. That is a boatload of power. So the phone, the phone will charge from 10 to 14% in 16 seconds. You understand that, Will? Are you Impressive. ready for this speed? No, you're this is you're, very cool. You're never not charged. Mm -hmm. You're always charged. You got no excuse. All you need is an outlet for 16 seconds, and you're back up to 15, 14%. It's pretty wild. So the, full, the, uh, the device reached full capacity in 45 minutes, according to this particular test, but 4,000 milliamp hours uh, in, in around 13 minutes. It's bananas. They showcased it apparently uh, at MWC Shanghai alongside their first 5G device. This is uh, an area where like, we had hoped that battery tech would have advanced at this rapid pace where it was going to be like, oh, your phone lasts for a week now. This is obviously different, but it's kind of nice to have some sort of innovation taking place. Like if you can't have batteries in phones that last for a week, at least you can at least you can charge them in 13 minutes. Yeah. It seems like the solution right now is either having a, a bigger battery or technology that charges faster. That's what I Which mean. Which one can you choose? So it, and, and so that's the thing. You start to think about this on a bigger scale, like Tesla, for example. Is like you're looking at these extended range batteries. They can't make them fast enough to fulfill the orders. You know, you've we, we've talked about all the complexities in that. Maybe you go more down this route where it's like maybe your range is not crazy, but imagine get to the super start supercharge station and it's like you're only there for five minutes, like more like a gas tank. So, I, I mean, that's obviously an extended. Yeah, then we're talking about a phone here, not a car. It's but, a good proof of concept. Exactly. But do you think it'll overheat? Uh, it's got to be hot. So much. Look at the icon. Hours. Look at the look at the artwork here. It's got to be hot. There's no way around it. I mean, it's going to generate heat. You're yeah. talking about 120 watts. I assume it's going to be safe. I, I I doubt they'd be showcasing it if it wasn't at least to a degree. But uh, you're going to have heat as a byproduct, no doubt about it.